everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Sophie from Third Eye Traveller and today I'm here at Bathory Castle or Kastish Castle which is in Slovakia. Now this famous castle was home to Elizabeth Bathory who is a female vampire. Now according to legend she took young girls mostly virgins into her service at her castle and then ended up murdering them so that she could bathe in their blood to keep her youthful complexion and that's how the legend goes anyway i'm here to find out more as you can see i've just landed in a place called visnove and the castle is up here and yes it's raining but it's also giving twilight vibes you know <laughs> so yeah we'll see how it goes the station is literally in the middle of nowhere it's not really a station <laughs> And I think I've got about a half an hour walk now up to the castle and I should be there for opening time and because it's raining there might not be many people today so yeah if you're interested in learning more about Elizabeth Bathory how to visit her castle make sure to follow along because I'm going to be taking you with me today okay so firstly let's talk about how to get to the castle it couldn't be easier from Bratislava and it only takes around an hour or so by train so first you're going to head from Bratislava Vino Radi station and you'll be taking a train to a place called Nove Mesto nad Vahom. It has a longer name in Slovakian but that's what it's called for short and the journey will take you around an hour. I booked my train tickets online, it couldn't have been simpler and I booked a first class train and it was a really nice journey actually, really really comfortable and I even got a free bottle of water because um, I was in first class. The views are mostly countryside on your journey, but you do get a really nice view of the Lower Carpathians and it just made me really excited for my journey to Castiche. Once you arrive in Nove Mesto nad Vrom, you'll need to switch trains to a tiny rickety train that takes you in the mountain. It stops at both Castiche Station and Vishnave. Both of these stations will get you to the castle, but Vishnave is just a little bit closer. However, you will most likely see in a minute that the walk up to the castle from Vishnave is very, very steep. But it is the quickest route, and that's what I did. And yeah, I got into Vishnave, and there's the castle. So all that's left is to leave the station and then head up to the castle through the village, or so I thought. I have to admit that I didn't do much research about the walk um, before I visited the castle. I was blindly following Google Maps and I didn't really have any idea where I was going, but as I could see the castle, surely I'd find it somehow, right? So I'm currently on a main road, but luckily it's not too busy. And I think I'm heading on a sort of dirt path up to the castle. I think, yeah, it's gonna be about 25 minutes uphill. That's the only problem with the castles, they're always on a hill for defence. So, <laughs> let's see. Oh god. So yeah, from the village, just take this dirt path all the way up the hill to the castle. Just be warned that this path is very gravelly and can be very steep. Okay, so I'm about halfway through <laughs> and it's super steep. So make sure to have a really good pair of shoes and my trainers or boots because the ground is pretty gravelly. So yeah, I don't actually think this is the traditional way to get to the castle. I would actually recommend heading up from Castiche itself because they have a well-beaten route. The path from Vishnave was super muddy, almost turning into a trench. But eventually I got up to the top of the hill and I just followed this path along until I found the entrance of Castiche Castle. I was so excited to finally make it here because that walk was horrific um, and yeah I wouldn't really recommend it but it was all worth it to finally make it here. So the walk up from this Navy station to Bathory Castle is ridiculous. It was so steep, my face is like a beetroot. I got soaked, um, but I'm here now, so excited. Um, I did see some deer as well, so I definitely probably have beaten the crowds. Um, it opens at 10, I hope, and um, yeah, it was just really, really steep. So make sure to have water, wear a really good pair of shoes, um, and also bring an umbrella, unlike me. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to go inside. I think it's about three euros, so yeah, let's go. 
So little did I know that the castle would be closed. Yes, even though they said it would be open in September, when I reached the gate, it was closed. They decided to close the castle last minute because it was raining. Um, and so after a mild panic and sitting at the gate, I called around. But eventually, I was able to contact somebody to let me inside. So yes, after a really long train journey, a really chaotic hike, and then finding out it was closed, I finally made it inside Elizabeth Bathory's castle. Let me tell you, it was so worth the effort. I've had this castle on my bucket list for ages as this is Elizabeth Bathory's castle, aka the Blood Countess. That's right, Elizabeth Bathory is known as a female vampire due to the atrocities that allegedly took place at this castle. During her trial, it was concluded that Elizabeth Bathory killed more than 80 girls using a variety of torture treatment like the Nuremberg Virgin, aka an Iron Maiden. However, eyewitness statements that didn't reach the trial think that this number was more like 300 women who actually lost their lives here. This famous trial reached headlines around the world and gave Elizabeth Bathory the title of the Blood Countess. But how much of this is actually true? Although her arrest, trial and confinement labelled her as a murderess, many people believe that Elizabeth Bathory was actually the victim of a witch hunt. Elizabeth Bathory was a Hungarian noblewoman who came from the house of Bathory and was born in 1560. She married the Hungarian nobleman Ferenc II of Nadasti. Not only was Ferenc a Hungarian nobleman, he was also one of the wealthiest and most influential people in the entire country. Elizabeth was only 15 at the time that she married Ferenc and then they both decided to move into Castich Castle together. Unfortunately, Ferenc died on the battlefield from a mysterious illness, so his considerable wealth and land fell to Elizabeth. Her land stretched far and wide, making her an enemy of the Habsburg Empire and not a popular person amongst the nobility of Hungary and Slovakia. So many people believe that Elizabeth Bathory was a victim of political conspiracy. Many of the eyewitness statements that were given during the investigation were actually second-hand witness statements from the nobleman whose land Elizabeth Bathory owned, and they felt that they had a right to. In fact, Elizabeth Bathory was involved in many lawsuit cases before this trial. Although Elizabeth was extremely well educated, learning Latin, German, Hungarian and Greek, and born into a privileged family, I just don't believe that the nobleman could accept that a woman owned all this land and wealth. Whatever the case, rumours started to spread about Castich Castle and a full-scale investigation was launched in 1602. The Palatine of Hungary, Georgi Thurzo, was sent to investigate. They collected over 300 witnesses statements during that time. Many of the statements accused Elizabeth of taking young girls into her service and then killing them for their blood to retain her beauty. Eventually she was arrested, put on trial and then confined to Castiche Castle and there she remained until her death. Elizabeth Bathory's legacy has lived on through the ages and in folklore she's known as a female vampire and the world's most prolific female serial killer. In popular culture there have been many stories, movies, plays and songs written about Elizabeth Bathory painting her as a killer. But there are also historians that fight on the other side of the coin that say she was the victim of a land dispute. Either way, I love my visit to Castries Castle as I was able to learn more about Elizabeth Bathory and these events. They had so many things to do and they even had a gift shop where they sell some pretty crazy Elizabeth Bathory beer. Okay, so I've just finished my tour of Bathory Castle. It was absolutely incredible. I'm so glad I got to make it here from Bratislava. Um, there's loads of exhibitions inside. You have lots of portraits of Elizabeth Bathory, uh, lots of um, sort of exhibitions with like Iron Maidens and things like that. And even the dungeons where she supposedly tortured the young girls and things like that. They have some kind of gruesome exhibits there. Um, I'm actually heading back a different way. I'm going to be heading to Castiche village instead of the Vishnave because the walk up was a little steep and walking down will probably be a bit um, treacherous for me as I'm just a walking calamity uh, when it comes to hiking. <laughs> so I was like, I don't trust walking down those hills. So I'm just sure there's a bus that heads to Novo Mesto station and then I'm going to head to back to Bratislava. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed my tour of the Elizabeth Bathory Castle and um, if you're a fan of vampires or anything like horror I'm sure you really enjoyed it and I would recommend coming here on a day trip from Bratislava if you're there. It's only an hour and 20 minutes on the train. Granted there's a bit of a walk but well worth it for the views and the history so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it please remember to subscribe for more magic. Thank you.